Yeah, back again. So, tips to help you fix your own Sony TVs and even newer models. In a recent video, talked about this common issue with Sony TVs, this green and orange error code that you experience after Ticon or mainboard was replaced. Sometimes it happens randomly. At other times, it occurs when you don't connect LVDS and then you power on TV. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> you should know this now. Never start a modern Sony TV without LVDS connected. Uh, it keeps flashing this green and orange, you know, error code. Note this board ain't dead. Now, let's talk about how you can help to revive your TV, you know, bring it back to optimum working condition. First, Download firmware from an appropriate Sony support website. Now, with the flash drive or with the flash drive formatted to FAT32, unzip the downloaded firmware, you know, put the unzipped file in the root folder of the flash drive and then connect, plug it into one of the USB ports. Of course, TV would have been unplugged from the main socket at this time. Um, watch and see the, the, the process kick off. And the first stage runs for about 10 15 minutes. Mm. So while you wait, you might want to get busy with some things. <laughs> now, next stage, this is where the indicator light changes from green to white. You know, this white flashing on and off mm. strobing after about five ten minutes then what you dream about what, what you really want happens tv comes back to life i know someone who spent over a hundred dollars replacing the board of his tv he got a used board just because of this problem. Uh, please bear this in mind. You can actually get this done yourself. See, TV is back, back up and running. Backlight has turned on. There you have it, Android. Okay, so you can actually do DIY here. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And you could share too. Thanks.